Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide to the metals and gem production by Superfly1842. Um, this is a very cool mod pack um, that is for all platforms, I believe. Am I not mistaken? They're all platforms, right? Yep, all platforms. Yep. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, but yes, there's a lot of cool things in this pack. So there's some new products in here, and we'll talk about all those. You can see in here we have a stone quarry, which makes stones from nothing, which makes sense. It's quarrying the stones. Then we have pay dirt, so you're taking the stones and water to make pay dirt. And then from the pay dirt, you can make gold, silver, gems, and diamonds, which is cool. And then you can take that a step further and make either jewelry, golden cat statues, or silverware. Um, so you have all these new precious items that you can kind of manufacture, which I think is a pretty nifty idea. But uh, yeah, let's go through all the buildings real quick in terms of price, and then we'll talk about profitability and how they all work. So if I go into the store here, well, in the building store build mode, you know what I mean. Um, anyhow, we go under, I believe it's under tools, containers, containers. Yes, we have the stone buying station, which is this guy right here. Um, that is $15,000 to buy. I'm sorry, it says store shop area there because I have store delivery mod on. But anyhow, 15000 to buy. You can buy a stone from that, and I'll talk about that here in a second. Then if we go to production, under selling points, at the very end, we have this guy, $500 to buy. It's the precious metals and gem trader. So if you don't have a... If there's no sell points in the map you're working on that will take these items, you can put this down and it will take all of them for you. Then finally, under factories, we kind of have some factories here and they kind of escalate through the process. For $175,000, you can place the stone quarry, which you can manufacture stones. Then for $145,000, you have the wash plant, which makes the pay dirt. And then for $95,000, you have the metals and gem refinery, which makes all of your precious kind of items there. And then if you want to take those a step further, we have the jewelry shop, which will, or the jewelry production, excuse me, or 70,000, which will produce um, your silverware, golden cats, and jewelry, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about these guys here. So first off, stone buying station. Um, this allows you to buy stones. They're 1,000 liters of stones for $100. So if you just go in here and go under it, you can see that if I stop there, what, 50, yeah, 578. Yep, so about equal there. And if you look under here in the store, the stone buying station, and I have fast forward to time, that doesn't change. So they're always $100 per 1,000 liters. And then, of course, we have the sell point here, which is like any other sell point. If you pull over it, you should be able to sell things, which actually this does not take stones, of course. Uh, let me see if I can fill this with gems. There we go. No, I'm going to set a fill it with gems. Just cheating that in there. There we go. If I have a bunch of gems in here, I can sell my 12,000 liters of gems, which those things look really cool. <laughs> oh, it's just kind of funny. But anyhow, yes, that's how the sell point here works. Now, my understanding for the quarry, and I haven't tested this yet, is all I have to do is turn it on and it'll start producing stones. Now, it does have quite the hefty production cost here. And if you don't know how production works, I'll give you a quick overview on that. So over here, we have what it is it can produce. So we have the stone quarry up here. It has one recipe, which is the quarry. Deactivate it. I click this button down here at the bottom. To deactivate, I do the same thing. Now, it'll say running right there, and it shouldn't have any issues with materials because it produces stones from no stone. So it should have everything it needs to run right now. Um, which is great. So it does say running right there. It hasn't had any message. Now, if it isn't working for some reason, it'll say materials missing here and it'll show red here instead of blue. Um, it's hard to see when you have it highlighted. But regardless of that, then we have cycles per month. So this recipe down here will occur uh, 240 times per month. That's what it means by cycles per month. So if you have your days set or your month set to five days per month or six days per month, excuse me, two days per month, however you may have it set, however many days that is, it'll do this every month, not every day, every month. Unless you, of course, have your month set to one day per month, then this will happen every day. Uh, then production cost, same thing, per month. That's how much it's going to charge you. So this recipe, zero liters of stones to make 500 liters of stones, is going to happen 240 times, um, which that ends up making 120,000 liters of stones per month. And if you divide out the production cost, that ends up being about $35 per 1,000 liters, so a lot cheaper than the buying station. Um, but over here, that's our incoming materials, which there aren't any. And this is our outgoing materials, which is set to storing. Now, you can change it to selling, which will automatically sell the stones off. Um, just be aware that if you have any production set to selling, it takes about a 20 to 30 percent hit. And then distributing. So it'll distribute the stones to the next production, which might be helpful because it'll distribute them to here for us. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then, of course, we have storing again. Now, storing will automatically spawn pallets if that's applicable or it'll keep them in here. So this does not spawn pallets because that just doesn't make sense for it. Uh, so I won't do that. Now I'm actually going to fast forward time a little bit here so we can start producing some stones. And we should see in here, yes, we're making stones quite quickly. It is working very well. And it's just costing us basically the production cost. So that's working very effectively. I'll let that keep going. Um, so here looks like somewhere where you could dump stones in. So one thing, actually, let's pause the game 
real quick again. One thing I'm curious about is can you dump stones in and kind of use it as a silo? There's no other reason. You don't need the stones uh, to do anything. So if I fill this guy up with stones, I'm curious if you can dump it in because there's no other thing I can think you'd want to dump into here. And yes, it looks like you can. So if I dump those in there, this value should now increase. If I exit out, yep, you can see that. So this also essentially works as a storage facility for stones if you wanted to put stones in there, just kind of nifty. And you also can dump stones in that top uh, area up here if you had like a front loader or something like that. Now this is where we're also gonna get stones out because stones are what gets produced here. The one thing I didn't see, and I'll check again real quick, because I didn't see, normally when productions, or when there's a production, there's like a little wrench icon somewhere outside of it that allows you to access the production menu, but I didn't see that on this one. And just an example of that, um, one of these productions is bound to have it. I don't see it on this one either. Could be sent. I feel like I, am I crazy here? These are all productions, technically speaking. Um, let me place down just a base game production to see if I'm crazy here. Uh, yeah, so like right there, you see the wrench on that one. So apparently none of these have wrench access, which is fine. It doesn't really matter in terms of anything, so you can still access it through the menu. Uh, but still, anyhow, um, we have some stones here. Let's go ahead and grab some more stones out of here. Perfect, there we go. Plenty of stones there, and that's still making stone. Well, not right now, because time's paused. But always, yes, making stones. And then we have the pay dirt factory. Now we'll talk about profitability at the very end, of course. Uh, but theoretically speaking, if you are on a normal economy mode, um, you could produce stones and sell them for a profit right here. Um, now those both, of course, don't actually buy the stones for us because we own those. Those are um, our production areas. But if you had a different buying station or a different place or sell point that you could sell stones to, you might be able to make a profit off of just the stones if you wanted to go that route. But we want to make a lot more money, so we're going to go this route. So over this little icon here, I'm going to pull over this, and then I should be able to just dump in my stones. That'll keep dumping. Um, and then this is where we should be able to get our products out. Um, and I don't think there's any, I think everything's a bulk product. And I could, should be able to tell that here by just going into here. So you have stones, mineral feed, that's nothing here. Pay dirt, gems, wheat. I didn't see like gold in there, which is kind of interesting to me, because if we go down to the production, the pay, oh, this is the pay dirt factory, of course. It's just making pay dirt. I'm silly here. Um, the next one is where we're going to get those other items out. So there'll be pallets for those. So ignore me there. But anyhow, this one, we now have 2,400 cycles per month. So it's going to go through quite a bit of pay dirt. But you can see it's 90 to 90. So as it's burning through stones, you're getting an equal amount of pay dirt. And then we're using some water basically to wash the stones is kind of the process. Um, so that's kind of how this is going. And we have it set to storing. You could have it set to distribute further or sell if you wanted to. So distributing would be really helpful, I think, for these, because you could set this to distribute stones to here, and then here you could set the pay dirt to distribute to here, and then you could set all of these guys to distribute to here, and then you could pick these guys up and sell them. You can ignore the bakery down there. You could always sell that building, get rid of it, but it's fine. Uh, so yes, that's how this works. We have stuff in there. If we fast forward time a little bit here, just get going, you can see we're starting, we'll wait to activate it. And I'm actually just, I'm gonna buy water using the production buy option here. Uh, but I'm going to assume for um, the case of this mod and production in terms of like profitability, I'm going to assume that you can get water for free somewhere. So just be aware of that. I'm going to assume that value when we come to our um, production at the very end or our profitability at the very end. But I can pull under this side here, theoretically, if I can actually get my trailer under there because I went in there at a really bad angle. But if I pull under here, I can load up with... Ooh, interesting... This the silo's empty, but... Oh, I set it to distributing, of course. That was my fault. No wonder it was empty. Um, <laughs> let me buy some more water real quick. There we go. And the material's missing. That was how that works. And you can see that went through really quick because time sped really far up. But there you go. And then I can grab the pay dirt out of there just like that. And you can see the pay dirt. And then we can move on to our next production, which this guy right here, next production, already has pay dirt because it was automatically distributed over. Um, I'm going to deactivate that guy for now. And I can deactivate the quarry probably as well we have a lot of stones in there uh but you can see there um everything is going smoothly now we have the next facility so uh, we've talked about this one this one also has a high production cost which i will calculate into the fact of how much the pay dirt quote unquote costs to keep moving through the production uh so i'll calculate all that into our um final values so the final values i'm mostly going to focus on is if we sold gold silver and gems or if we sold jewelry golden cat statues and silverware so these six products what i'm going to focus on but now as you can see here we have a few different recipes so 
first off, we have the gold recipe, 96 time, 96 cycles of this. And you can see we have to buy diesel now. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy water right there, just like that. And I can show you guys how to put the water in if you would like to, it's not that hard. Um, it's gonna be the same as for like, for example, the pay dirt factory. You're just gonna pull over this icon right here and dump it in. And same for this factory. You're just gonna pull over this icon right here and you can see it has fuel and water also on there. You're gonna put those in there as well as the pay dirt's gonna dump in there. And this is where you're gonna get your products out. And there should be a pallet spawn point somewhere, which might be in here, actually. Yes, it is. You can see here, this is where all of our pallets are gonna spawn. We have some nice decorations that we can move. That's great. Oh, I was hoping I can move the gems, but gold bars are still pretty cool. So anyhow, that's where you're gonna put stuff in and do all the stuff there. But let's take a look at the recipes again. So for gold, 96 cycles of this. It doesn't cost too much here for the production cost, which is kind of nice. Uh, but you can see 100, 1,500 liters of pay dirt, 240 liters of water, 125 liters of diesel. It's going to get you 100 liters of gold, 25 liters of silver, 8 liters of diamonds, and 30 liters of gems. Silver, a little bit different. 625 for the pay dirt. You get more silver out of it. Still a little bit of gold, still a little bit of diamonds, a little bit of gems. Takes less diesel um, and takes um, a little bit less water. Um, you can see they're both doing 96 cycles. So 96 times that. And then the final one, gems, is also 96 cycles. Uh, which that one actually is not the fastest way to get diamonds, which I would have thought. It's definitely the fastest way to get gems. You still get some silver and gold out of it, but it's not the fastest way to get diamonds. I would have thought this would be a little bit higher in here. Like maybe if that's eight, this was 16, but regardless, that's what it is. So you're going to get that out of it, um, which is pretty cool. So let's grab just to demonstrate here how easy it is to get stuff put in here. I'm going to put some pay dirt in here real quick. Now you can run all three of these simultaneously, just be aware, oh, let me activate it, there we go, that as you do that, um, I'm gonna buy some diesel to put in here as well, there we go. But just be aware as you do that, it's gonna cut each of these uh, productions in a third. So it's only gonna run a third effective for each one, or if you only have two running, each one will be half effective versus fully effective, so just be aware of that. Uh, but there we go, let's go ahead and speed up time just a little bit here. Actually, you know what, let's just go to the next day just because it's dark out, there we go, all right, perfect. Next day, easy peasy. Um, you can see we're running out of or we ran out of materials, which makes sense. We have 900 liters of gold, 624 liters of silver. I don't know if we have any pallets spawned back here. We do. Okay, so silver, thousand liters there of silver. So we don't have enough gold to spawn a pallet. So I'm going to deactivate this here, um, and I'm going to reload this just by kind of cheating in some pay dirt here real quick um, to try to make this a little bit easier. There we go. I'm going to put some more water in and some more diesel in, easy peasy. Okay, we should have plenty to get enough to make some more gold here. I'll still let the gems run, uh, but let's just keep fast forwarding time until we get hopefully a pallet of gold. There we go, that was actually really easy. I'm assuming that's also a thousand liters and also how much is this weigh? One ton, so yes, very heavy. I uh, can't lift it manually, you have to use a forklift. And gold, thousand liters of gold per pallet. Now the gems and diamonds, I'm assuming are both gonna be bulk materials here. So if I come over here, hit R, I can get the pay dirt back out. I can get the gems out. Um, oh, there's no diamonds in there. So I'm assuming diamonds must be a palleted item as well. Um, so that's quite interesting, which these ones make the most diamonds. So let's go ahead. I've got to get a pallet of diamonds and see where that goes. Um, let me just fill this guy up here, get this all the way filled so we can just keep running this thing for a while because we got to get some diamonds out of this for sure, just to be able to see how that's going to go. All right, so we don't have any diamonds yet. I'm assuming they're gonna spawn out here since we can't get them out otherwise. I am gonna turn on uh, object delete because we can delete pallets as good. Actually, you know what? We don't even need to do that to try to get diamonds out. What I can do is a little bit cheatier option here, but quite easy. Uh, I can do mods and DLCs and I can spawn a pallet of diamonds like that. So here we go. It's 500 gems. I like that it doesn't say liters. It's a new unit, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Weighs 415 kilograms, so not as heavy, but that is very cool. 500 liters of diamonds. That's so cool. Um, now, if I turn on super strength, so I can just move this easier here. We move on to our jewelry factory, and I can put stuff in this as well by just going over here. Oh, diamond is unaccepted. Is it not used for in the jewelry? Oh, it's not. I'll be darned. So I don't need to put diamonds in there. Diamonds you can just sell. They're just kind of a fun bonus item. Uh, but the gold or any of the pallets that I just deleted, if I had a pallet, you'd be able to just put them right in here. Easy peasy. Let me get, um, yeah, silver will work. Yeah, there we go. So if I bring a pallet up over here, you can see it's going to reduce that pallet back into the facility. If we go in here, you can see we have silver now. Um, and gems and everything like that, you can just 
you can have them distribute over or you can dump them in here, but you can put everything in right here to get this going. And this is where your pallets are gonna spawn. And oh, this one does have a wrench. It's just inside. I had to go inside to get it. I might have missed wrenches on the other one too. I apologize if I did. There's an upstairs in this place? Good gravy. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool, actually. You move the cat around, you can't. But you can store your stuff up here if you want to. I don't know if it's liftable or not, so I don't know how easy that'll be. Light switch there. We can go out this door here. I want to go in that back room there. Quite quite good detail on here. Oop, there we go. You can see we got all the equipment to make some jewelry. Got some gym boxes. Very cool. So, yeah, I like that. That's quite nifty. Let's get back outside, though. Get back on track here. So, if we put stuff in here, we will get some pallets out. Um, I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to just purchase some gold. Just so we have everything we need. Some more silver. Some gems. Easy peasy. Just like that. Okay, and then we're going to activate all of these. Uh, just like that. So as you can see in here, we do have more recipes. They're all going to be $960 per month to run. This one does 72 times this, so you can make quite a bit of jewelry quite fast. We can see 50 liters of gold, 50 liters of silver, and 100 liter liters of gems to make 200 liters of jewelry. This one is 75 liters of gold and 25 liters of gems to make 100 liters of golden cats. You can see this is only 48 times per month versus this one is 72. Then down at the bottom, 96 times per month, we can do 100 liters of silver and do 100 liters of silverware which is quite cool so very cool let's go ahead and just fast forward some time see if we can get some pallets to spawn out here it should actually be pretty quick these productions all work really fast so um you could be rich very quickly or you could role play it going a little bit slower for you if you wanted to do that so i'm actually going to slow things down we already have some jewelry out here as you can see um, i'm going to turn the jewelry off because we've already had that one spawn and the silverware hasn't spawned yet which is kind of interesting they're all set to storing we're gonna keep going here. See until we get some stuff to spawn in. How are we doing? Okay, there we go. So take a look at our pallets here. We have jewelry here, thousand liters for 640 kilograms of the weight. So still pretty heavy. Here we have a pallet of silverware. It's 2000 liters and it's 1.2 tons. And then over here we have a thousand liters of golden cats, which are 1.2 tons each. And again, if we wanted to, we could drag these over to our cell point and sell them off here. Sorry, it said not accepted because I went over that. But as you can see, we're selling it here just fine. Nice animation on it, just like all of our other productions. And just like that, boom, it's gone. We made 2,800 um, bucks. You can make a lot of money doing this, but how much money can you make? Well, let me go ahead and do some calculations and bring you guys back in to take a look at the profitability. All right, the math is in, and here are the results. So the chart up on your screen right now, has a few things going on and I'll kind of explain this. So looking at it on face value, it looks like you make less money doing jewelry, golden cats and silverware compared to just doing gold, silver and gems. That's not really true and I'll explain that as we go. So this is economic difficulty normal. I'm assuming water is free um, and I did include the production costs into the uh, input costs. So all those production fees are included here. Um, I'm assuming for stones, you're getting, you're paying $35 per thousand liters for them if you're doing them in your stone quarry. That's what I'm assuming here. Uh, so those prices used down below, those are all the ones for, well, the best price possible, except for diesel is I used one of the containers that are placeable to see what the game charges you per thousand liters. And that's what it is. It may vary by map or probably will vary by map a little bit. So just be aware of that. Uh, that cost could change a little bit, um, but I don't think it'll matter a whole lot. And then stones, that's $35 per thousand liters. Obviously you might get stones for free off your field and that works great for this production, but that's as if you are using your stone quarry to get them. Obviously, if you use the stone buy point, you're paying $100 per thousand liters. That's also going to change the prices. Um, and then the diamond, silverware, golden cats, jewelry, gems, silver, and gold, that's the best selling price for them throughout the year. Uh, so taking a look, the blue chunk up there is basically your introduction production or your introductory production. And then the, the white part down below that is kind of your secondary production. So uh, if we take a look at how this works, basically we're taking a look at what you put into this and what you get out of it. And the input is what you would get if you sold the materials instead. So for example, for gold, if you sold, you know, the pay dirt, the water, the diesel, well, water's not included in costs here. If you sold the pay dirt and the diesel, instead of putting it into this production facility, which by the way, pay dirt, same price, $35 per thousand liters, because you're putting it through the pay dirt facility, which is one to one for uh, stones. Now, given there is a production cost to that, so it's a little bit more than that, but it's just kind of an estimate here. So that's if you sold that stuff instead of using, well, this production chain here. 
Um, and the output is what you get if you sold all of the products. So for gold, if you sold all of the gold, silver, gems, and diamonds that you got, that's what you get out of it. And the profit per cycle is how much you make per cycle. And the profit per month at the bottom is if you sold all that. So basically you take the profit per cycle and multiply it by how many cycles. So for gold, there's 96 cycles per month. You take 575.31, which is the profit per cycle, and you multiply that by 96 to get the 55,000 down there. Now, it does look like you make less to do jewelry, gold, and cats and silverware. That's because the input prices for those are what you would normally sell the gold, silver, gems, and jewelry for. I'm not counting it straight across the board as dirt because the calculations are pretty complicated considering um, how many products you get. There's not like gold, like pay dirt goes in to just make gold or pay dirt goes in to just make silver or just make gems. It makes all sorts of different products. So calculating it would be a little bit difficult. So I decided to kind of take the easy way out here to make it a little bit easier on myself and to make sure I didn't get any numbers wrong. So essentially the way I would look at this is a, your production, your profit per month down there, that gold profit you're getting, I would add that to the jewelry. I would look at the jewelry, the golden cats and the silver as a, a kind of addition. So basically if you're doing the gold production, you're making $55,000 per month. Then if you're taking all those products and making them into jewelry, you're getting an additional 13,000 on top of that. So that's kind of like a bonus at the end of it. Now the bonus is not too bad. You're not getting a ton extra Honestly, you could just run the gold production and sell the materials and you'd be making quite a bit of profit and you wouldn't have to worry about having the jewelry facility either. So that might be an easier way to go about it. That's probably what I would do unless you really wanted to make jewelry and golden cats and silver, which is pretty cool. So do what you want to do, but that's how you get it. You do make more money if you do that, just not maybe as much as you would for your work compared to just stopping at the gold production there. But anyhow, guys, that is what I have for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.